find the function of a VDCon camera tube. VDCon camera is a television camera which converts the light energy into electrical energy. It functions on the principle of photoconductivity where the resistance of target material decreases when exposed to light. Construction The VDCon consists of a glass envelope with an optically flat place plate given in the figure. A photosensitive target plate is available on the inner side of the face plate. The target plate has two layers. To the front facing the face plate is a thin layer of thin oxide. This is transparent to light but electrically conductive. The other side of the target plate is coated with a semiconductor photosensitive antimony trisulfide. The tin oxide layer is connected to a power supply of 50 volts. Grid 1 is the electron gun consisting a cathode and a control grid. The emitted electrons are accelerated by grid 2. The accelerated electrons are focused on the photoconductive layer by grid 3. Vertical and horizontal deflecting coils placed around the tube are used to deflect the electron beam for scanning the target. Working The light from a scene is focused on the target. Light passes through the face plate and tin oxide incident on the photoconductive layer. Due to the variations in the light intensity of the scene, the resistance of the photoconductive layer varies. The emitted electrons from antimony trisulfide reach the positive tin oxide layer. So, each point on the photoconductive layer acquires positive charge. Hence, a charge image that corresponds to the incident optimal image is produced. As the electron beam from the gun is incident on the charge image, drop-in voltage takes place. As a result, a varying current is produced. This current produces the video signal output of the camera. Explain the functions of various units in the monochrome television transmission. An oversimplified block diagram of a monochrome TV transmitter is shown in the figure. The functional block diagram can be broadly divided into two sections. An amplitude modulated transmitter and a frequency modulated transmitter. Former is used for video modulation, whereas latter is used for audio modulation. The synchronizing and scanning circuits produce sets of pulses for providing synchronizing pulses for proper functioning of the TV system. This timing unit contains number of wave generating and wave shaping circuits. The repetition rate of its various output pulse trains is controlled by a frequency stabilized master oscillator. The output signal of a camera tube corresponding to the image to be televised is amplified through a number of video amplifier stages. The image signals together with the synchronizing and blanking pulses are raised to a level suitable for modulating the RF carrier wave generated in the RF channel. The allotted picture carrier frequency is generated by the crystal controlled oscillator. The continuous wave output is given large amplification before feeding to the power amplifier. In the modulator, 
its amplitude is made to vary in accordance with the modulating signal received from the modulating amplifier the microphone converts the sound associated with the picture being televised into proportionate electrical signal the audio signal from the microphone after amplification is frequency modulated employing the assigned carrier frequency the output of the sound fm transmitter is finally combined with the am picture transmitter output through a combining network and fed to a common antenna for radiation of energy in the form of electromagnetic waves please subscribe our channel for more videos and educational contents